In this lesson, we're going to play through the song Raise a Hallelujah. This is a fantastic song for you to work on your C chord family. Sometimes you don't use that a whole lot, so I would encourage you to do that, even though you can capo in other ways and use other chord families. But I'm C, capo 1, which puts me in the key of C sharp or D flat. As far as my right hand is concerned, this song is in 4 4, which means um, it's kind of regular, your regular strum pattern will work that you've learned. And uh, it's not too fast, so you're not going to have to work too hard at keeping the rhythm. As far as your strum pattern, let's review that first just so you're comfortable with it. If I'm playing a C, it's my basic strum pattern that you learn. It's down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Or if you're already familiar with some other strum patterns or you're good on your own, just count to four. One, two, three, four. And that's each measure. As far as your left hand, you can play the chords. Again, there's no complicated chords here. C, F, G, and that sort of thing. But I'm going to show you a few shortcuts you can do or differences you can do with your chords. There's your C, and you'll see on the intro that you have a C chord, and then you'll have a C sus chord. All that means is add your pinky below your ring finger. So if you're counting from the bottom, one, two, three, four, your fourth string, your pinky goes on right below your ring finger on the third fret. That's your C sus, so you're alternating with your pinky for the intro. Sus for two chords. Now here's the cool thing with the C sus chord. Um, you don't need your middle finger anymore. You can take it off if you want to or leave it on. It doesn't matter. Uh, my favorite thing to do for the F chord. Now this is going to seem crazy, but just follow me for a second. Use your thumb, bring it up over if you can, and play the first fret, that bass note F with the C sus gives you a beautiful open sounding F chord. When I'm in the key of C and I see an F chord, I almost always use this chord because it sounds so much better to me than that kind of pinched sounding bar chord. And a lot of people don't like bar chords anyway and want new ways to play it. Um, a cheat you can do is if you see an F, you can play a C sus and get away with it because it sounds close enough. You just miss out on the bass note. So there are other ways to play F. Um, if you want to practice your bar chord, go ahead and play that, or you can use the C sus with an F bass note. Your A minor chord, if you'd like to, you can uh, use your, take your ring finger off for an A minor seven. I'll do that as well. So those are just a few things you can tweak to your chords as you play. So now let's play through the song together. <laughs> 